Send to Unreal creates several collections for you. These collections are important and each name is a reserved name for Send to Unreal. The Mesh collection is for all objects of type Mesh. The Rig collection is for all objects of type Armature. And the Extras collection is a collection it uses to organize and hide a lot of information in objects that aren't important to the user. For example, I have the mannequin character here. What I will do is simply select the mannequin character mesh and I will move it to the mesh collection. I'm going to hit Pipeline, Export, Send to Unreal. As you can see, it sends over a static mesh. This is because we have a mesh under the mesh collection, but we do not have our rig under the rig collection. I'm going to go ahead and just delete these objects. And I'm going to select the rig and I'm going to move it over to the rig collection. I'm going to perform that same operation and export to Unreal. This time you can see it exports as a skeletal mesh. It knows it's a skeletal mesh because there is a mesh under the mesh collection and a rig under the rig collection. And also this mesh is a child of this rig. Therefore this mesh is imported onto this skeleton in Unreal. Also you can see that this skeleton had an animation on it, this root action, which was just a quick animation that I did to test. We can go over to the animation folder and if we open this up we can see that our animation has imported as well. If I wanted to update my animation I could do one of two things. I could simply go over and I could change the keyframes on this animation And what this did was it imported both a re-import of the mesh and it also did a re-import of the rig. But we may not want to do this because this actually makes the transfer process slower. And also if we are only making changes to the skeleton it makes sense to just re-import the skeleton. So what I'll do is I'll just move the mesh out of the mesh collection. And it doesn't really matter where it is as long as it's outside the mesh collection and it's not in the rig collection. I'm going to go ahead and just modify this animation again. And export it to Unreal. You can see that it transferred a lot faster because it is only exporting the skeletal mesh file along with the animation data. It is important to note that when exporting animations, Send to Unreal takes the name of your action in Blender and uses that as the name of the animation in Unreal. When exporting meshes it takes the name of the object and that is the name that is given in Unreal. The skeleton is also given the name of the object of the mesh with the uh, underscore skeleton at the end of it. This summarizes how collections work with Sent Unreal.